The best 10 castles to visit in Germany. When you think of ancient medieval European castles, what comes to mind? You might be surprised to know that Germany has more castles than any other country in Europe. There's so many that officials aren't exactly sure of the real number. Experts have put a guess at 25,000 individual castles, but that number could be much bigger. As of 2018, the European Castle Institute had begun counting and documenting them to determine the true number, but the process will apparently take over 10 years. So with over 25,000 to choose from, what are the best 10 castles to visit in Germany? Welcome to Limitless. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before we get started on our list. So sit back, relax. This is the best 10 castles in Germany. Number 10. Reichsburg Kochum Towering above the sleepy, scenic town of Kochum, overlooking the Moselle River, is the Grand Reichsburg Kochum. Originally built in the 12th century, the castle stood proud for around 300 years until French King Louis XIV decided it would look better as a pile of rubble. In 1689, the French army, during the campaign known as the Nine Years' War, took the town of Kochum, burning the castle to the ground. The castle remained in ruins for over 180 years until the site was bought by Berlin businessman Louis Ravine in 1868 for restoration. Rather than restoring it to its former Roman-style architecture, Ravine decided to add neo-Gothic structures, including the four-story octagonal tower and the Hexenturm, affectionately known as the Witch's Tower. The tower got its grisly name from how they used to try women for witchcraft by throwing them out of the tower window. Number 9. Mespelbrunn Castle No two castles in Germany are the same, and the gorgeous, water-bound Mespelbrunn Castle is no exception. Tucked away deep in the forest outside of the city of Mespelbrunn, the castle was originally built in 1412 as a private residence. By 1427, it had been rebuilt as a fortified castle with towers, high walls, and the now famous moat. Today, Mespelbrunn Castle is the ancestral home of the Counts of Ingelheim, but only the round tower remains from the original 15th century structure. Some of the highlights of the castle tour include guided visits to the Knights Hall, the Late Gothic Chapel, Banquet Hall, and Ancestors Hall featuring a collection of Ector and Ingelheim portraits from 1648. Number 8. Wartburg the Wartburg Castle, situated on a 410-meter cliff face overlooking the town of Eisenach, is a building surrounded in history and prestige. With the foundations originally laid in 1067 by Louis the Springer, the Thuringian Count of Schauenberg, Wartburg, along with her sister castle Neuenburg, became the extreme borders of his traditional territory. As the site of the castle was not originally part of Lewis's lands, he had clay transported from his provincial territory to the top of the hill to get around the technicality. In 1521, famous German theologist, priest, and cleric Martin Luther stayed at Wartburg for 10 weeks after his excommunication by Pope Leo X. It was here that he translated the New Testament from ancient Greek into German in just 10 weeks. Number 7. Liechtenstein Castle You could be forgiven for thinking you're in a fairy tale when visiting Liechtenstein Castle in Baden-Württemberg. It's nowhere near as famous as the iconic Neuschwanstein, but we'll get to her later. While the castle we see today is relatively young, only being erected in 1840, the original castle goes way back to the 13th century. But like many castles, it was raised twice during various conflicts, eventually purposefully restored to resemble a medieval knight's castle, earning the nickname Neuschwanstein's Little Brother. Liechtenstein literally means light-colored stone, and that makes sense, but apparently the design itself was borrowed from a description in the 1826 novel Liechtenstein by Wilhelm Hauff. Number 6. Schwerin Castle One of Germany's oldest castles, the Schwerin Castle grounds have contained archaeological traces of fortresses dating back to 942 AD. The Schwerin name goes back to 1160, when a fortress of Slavic warriors was conquered by an army commanded by the medieval lord Heinrich der Löwe. Sitting in an island in the middle of Lake Schwerin, the UNESCO World Heritage listed castle was erected over a 10-year period between 1847 and 1857 by Grand Duke Friedrich Franz II and stands today as an architectural masterpiece. Schwerin Castle features 653 rooms and over a dozen painted towers, but according to many scared tourists, also a 17th century ghost. 
Legends say that the castle is haunted by a pint-sized ghost named Peter Munchen. This ghost wanders through the underground halls with a set of keys, unlocking doors and protecting against any intruders. Number 5. Heidelberg Castle Another victim of French King Louis XIV's nine-year war against German castles, Heidelberg has never been restored to its stunning glory. A Gothic masterpiece first built in the early 1300s, it would grow and extend over the years before its plunder in 1689. Proving that Heidelberg Castle is the unluckiest structure in Germany, it was struck by lightning twice in the late 1700s, further destroying what little repairs had begun. Today, Heidelberg still lies in partial ruins, but remains a popular tourist attraction as an example of the various German Romanticism architecture. Number 4. Hohenschwangau Castle What's the best place for a king to grow up? A castle, of course. And that's just the idea that King Maximilian II of Bavaria had for his son Ludwig II. Maximilian built the 19th century custard yellow neo-Gothic palace on a cliff face in the German village of Hohenschwangau replacing the 12th century fortress that housed the Knights of Schwangau. It's here you can visit the famous Hall of Heroes and Knights that takes up the entire width of the castle, and the King's Bedroom, which is beautifully painted with themes from Torquato Tassel's poem Jerusalem Delivered. The King also had a golden telescope, which he used from one of his towers to peer across at the progress of the buildings in Neuschwanstein. Number 3. Berg Elts the Burg Elts is a magnificent example of a castle designed to use its surroundings for defense. Situated in a small forest valley, perched high on a rocky outcrop in the middle of the basin, surrounded by the Rhine River, the Burg Elts remained protected for hundreds of years. It only had one incursion in the 13th century, bombarded with steel balls in a siege that did minor damage. In fact, it's one of the only Rhine castles that weren't destroyed during the conflicts in the 1600s that claimed so many others. A tour through the magical tower will take you into the treasure chamber, an extensive collection of art, treasure, and loot gathered by the Elts family for almost a millennia. The chamber features gold coins, medals, weapons, armor, sacred objects, jewelry, and much more. Number 2. Hohenzollern Castle Getting closer to our number 1 pick, we've decided that number 2 belongs to Hohenzollern Castle. The opulent palace began as a defensive fort built by the German Royal House of Hohenzollern in the 11th century, hosting Prussian, Swabian, and Romanian leaders as ownership changed hands several times over the centuries. Like many German castles, its fate was sealed in 1423, after a 10-month siege by the imperial states of Swabia, who were looking for independence from the Hohenzollern dynasty. The castle sadly fell into disrepair at the end of the 18th century, with part of the castle demolished due to neglect. Earthquakes in the 1970s further damaged the castle. While some restoration work has been completed, only the medieval chapel remains from the original structure. Tour admission fees are used to finance the maintenance, preservation, and renovation of the castle. Number 1. Neuschwanstein Castle Next time you sit down to watch a Disney movie, pay special notice to the impressive fairy tale castle in the background. Did you know that the design was inspired by the real-life Neuschwanstein Castle? Nestled in the picturesque Bavarian Alps, Neuschwanstein Castle is the self-indulgent result of a disgraced king. In 1866, Austria and Bavaria were conquered by Prussia, effectively stripping King Ludwig II of his powers. Two years later, Ludwig, upset by his irrelevance, commissioned the cliffside castle, determined to live out his private fantasy of being a true, sovereign king. Unfortunately, Ludwig would never see the castle completed, passing away in 1886 with the final towers completed in 1892. Today, over 1 million tourists visit the fairy tale castle every year, making it the most popular castle in Germany. One of those tourists back in the 1940s was none other than Walt Disney, apparently using inspiration in both the Sleeping Beauty castles and the iconic Disney intro animation. Well, that's it for the best 10 castles to visit in Germany. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let us know in the comments if you've visited any of these castles on this list. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to check out our other amazing videos. You've been watching Limitless, and we'll see you next time.